Hey guys, today I'm going to be filming this pretty traditional brown smoky eye. It's really a simple look. It just involves a brow highlight, two brown colors, and a black. The look is completely matte, and I think it would look good on any color of eyes, especially blue or green eyes. It's going to help make them pop, those warm browns. So if you want to see how I got this look from start to finish, then keep on watching. So I'm just going to start off by applying a base to my face using the Revlon Color Stain 320 and Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Plus in shade 45. It's going to mix those two on a palette. And using a flat top kabuki brush, this is the Sigma F80. I'm just going to apply some moisturizer first. product and just stipple it into the spots where I want a little bit more coverage instead of going in with a concealer. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows using this Maybelline Definer Brow in medium brown. And taking Max Cork, I'm just going to fill in the rest of them. I actually ended up using mostly uh, Max Espresso just because the cork wasn't dark enough to match that brow pencil. So Now using this Sonia Kashuk's Hidden Agenda Concealer Quad, I'm going to take the lightest shade of concealer and just trace it underneath my brow. And I'm also going to use that as my eyeshadow base, so I'm just going to apply that all over the lid and blend it out with my finger here. And using that translucent powder that comes in the quad, I'm just gonna set that on top of that concealer just so I have a nice smooth base to blend on. Okay, so I'm gonna start the eyes before I go on to the rest of the face. Taking this Revlon Color Stay Smoky Shadow Stick, I'm gonna run that all along my eyelid. And taking any kind of a warm tone brown, this is MAC Soft Brown, I'm going to blend that out into the crease. And um, just to intensify that a little bit, I'm going to add another layer here. So just repeat that second step of blending the soft brown into the crease. So taking the lightest shade here in this Essence Quad, I'm just going to use that as a brow highlight and just pack that on underneath my arch. Go with that same brush I used without picking up any more soft brown and just blend the two shades together here. Now I have a million browns, but I want to go for one that I haven't used in a long time. This is a nice one. This is from a NYX Trio palette. It's pretty, it looks like Max Swiss chocolate. So I'm gonna, using a flat shader brush, and I'm just gonna use a little piece of cardboard here to catch any fallout. Where you go, I'll go for show, cause I give you my soul. And I just love how you're in control. Even in the bed, you know how the story goes, so I trust you with my Going back in with that blending brush without picking up any more product, I'm just going to blend that into the crease. So there's like a soft transition and it's layered so you have like the darkest, the soft brown and the highlight. I'm just taking this small angle brush, I'm just going to get some on the end of it just to run that right into the corner of my eye. It's sometimes easier to go back in with a smaller brush just to get that inner part of the eye instead of trying to get it with the flat shader brush and getting it on the side of your nose. Like 
that you send in. Regeneration, no pretending. You I'm just gonna apply some concealer under my eyes, a Bobbi Brown corrector. It's in light to medium bisque. It's a salmon undertone corrector, so um, it's ideal for like uh, if you have blue undertones. If you have like blue veins around your eyes, it's really gonna cancel out those bluey purple undertones. Contour now using Max Blunt. I'm going to use one of my favorite blushes here. This is a Bare Minerals blush, it's like a loose powder in the shade Beauty. So I usually just pick up some product. It always gets way too much though, so I have to like tap it back off here. And then I'll just swirl it around in the cap. And use a stippling brush to put that on my cheeks. I'm gonna use like a bronzy highlight today. This is Max Buffed and Polished Iridescent Powder. It's a limited edition. It's a really chunky glitter. It's gonna pop that on top of my cheekbones. And I'm gonna blend that in here. But I'm gonna finish up my eyes here. I would recommend using a black eyeliner in your waterline um, for like, if you're going out with this look at night or Whatever, if you like that. I'm not a huge fan of it, especially for daytime. It's just too much for me. I'm gonna use a gel eyeliner here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliner in Black is Black. And I'm just gonna apply mascara here. This is the YSL Faux Cell Shocking Mascara. I would recommend using false lashes for this look, but I'm not going to today. Now I'm going to finish off with a pink lipstick. I'm going to mix two shades together. This is uh, the Rimmel Kate Moss collection in 113. It's a matte nude color. And on top of that, I'm going to be using this Baby Lips Pink Punch lip balm. I'm just gonna run some soft brown underneath my eyes. Just gonna help tie the look together. And then running that warm brown color. Just slightly above that soft brown. And that's the finished look. <laughs> 